Hey, this is Flori with another salutation message. This time is directly from Romania, in the middle of the countryside, in the southern part of it, in the very same backyard of the little house that I grew up into. And this is actually very uh, close to my heart, and, and it's a place where I can contemplate and, and think about uh, lessons that I want to, to teach and create. And you will probably hear some uh, some animal noise in the background. So I'm not in the jungle. I'm in Romania in the countryside. And I love, love, love this subject. I really do. And I had a blast putting these lines together. And also the lesson that I will teach on purpose, vision and goals. And I love going through my notes and really just, you know, batting in the thought idea that, you know, actually how we create what we want in our lives. So just now. Having the idea that we can create because I didn't always had this idea and, and I think that has to be one of the fundamentals and the very first understanding of all go, of goal setting, you know Although we, we will talk about goal setting and goal achieving all through this message and 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 I want to affirm the understanding that what we call goal setting and goal achieving Really, it's a very natural process of creation and manifestation. You know, it's interesting because we'll go through courses and, and, and classes and, and, and we'll read books on, on this. And this is probably one of the most soft af soft after, you know, subjects on goal achieving and goal setting. And yet, it's a very natural process for you and for I. It is how we create and manifest in our lives. And, and this is a very important distinction to make because for many years in my life I looked at myself as a failure when it came to being a goal achiever. I had failed so many times in achieving goals and, and when I say I failed, you know, what I really mean is I, I simply just quit trying. I don't honestly, you know, even remember making the conscious decision to quit trying. I can't remember making the decision not to do what it is that I needed to do that day to achieve my goal. But I never look at that singular decision, you know, as me saying no to my life dream or, or, or me quitting on my goal. I still wanted my goal, but I always seem to lead to, to, to the same result. Sooner or later, I would quit on my goal. I would stop trying altogether. But what if I had it all wrong? What if I was looking at this, you know, goal setting and goal goal achieving thing all wrong? What if, you know, what if I, I was really not failing when I quit? What if quitting from time to time was a necessary part of the goal achievement process? What if that time space that I labeled like quitting, you know, was actually a natural and necessary part of the process of, in goal achievement? A time and space in the creating process for self-evaluation, you know, and self-contemplation. A necessary expression of the law of the rhythm, rather than a space for more action. What if in that time space, as defined at, that I define as quitting, I was to use that time in the creative process to strengthen my, my inner image, and that's what I did this morning here, just sitting on, on the little bench behind me and, and, and contemplating. So like even while doing nothing, not exercising, not studying, whatever it was that I, I, I was supposed to do, if I still held that image, you know, that image will keep me in, in the goal achievement and, and creative process. So it's not just the physical activity. So. What if I changed my perception of goal achievement altogether and began to see it as a creative process, as a process of manifesting things in my life, attracting things into my life? Now, that was something I could have more confidence in, that I knew I had been successful at in my life. So for some reason, when I look at this process of creating things as manifesting things, you know, I had less self-judgment when I would meet with temporary failure. You see, you know, goal setting and goal achievement are skills that need to be learned. They require a learning model, as all things do, just like learning 
uh, to ride a bike, but creating, manifesting, now that is a very natural process for us. We were born creators. We came pre-programmed to create. We arrived on the scene of the life with the learning model of creating already programmed within us. <laughs> what a huge shift in awareness. What a great way to begin this process, starting with the belief that I'm already a creator and I have nothing to learn. Rather, I only need to become fully aware of this power that I already possess. So, let me and my wife Lorena take you through a self-discovery journey, through a series of 12 self-leadership lessons in a six-month personal development program, completely free. Join us on Monday, May 6th at 8 p.m. Stockholm time on our Become a Brass Version journey for our first teaching on purpose, vision and goals. So even if you are a seasoned goal achiever, I promise you, you will get so much from this lesson and it might be just the very thing that will allow you to take the next step forward towards your dreams and your goals. Sign up at www becomeyourbestjourney.com that's www.becomeyourbestjourney.com or click on the link below or above depends where it is so thank you and i hope to see you on the call take care bye bye